WCMR3 522 sampling instructions. Wash your hands before sampling and wear the powderless nitrile gloves which are included in the kit during sampling and sample handling. Your 522 kit should include three empty sample bottles with preservative. Before sampling, remove the aerator and screen if sampling from a faucet or tap. Open the tap and let the water run at fast flow for approximately five minutes. Before filling, label bottles with required information that is not already pre-printed such as the sample ID, date, and time of collection. After five minutes, slow water flow to thickness of a pencil to minimize splashing. Dioxane preservation requires a two-step process. First you fill the bottle, which contains sodium sulfite as dechlorinating agent with sample, and then you add the sodium bisulfate provided in a separate small vial. The bisulfate acidifies the sample after dechlorination. Do not add the bisulfate before sample collection. Start sample collection by filling the sample bottle up to the bottom of the neck, taking care not to flush out any preservatives and making sure the mouth of the bottle does not come in contact with anything other than sample water. Cap and invert the bottle at least five times or until the sodium sulfite is dissolved. Next, open the bottle. Add the sodium bisulfate by shaking out from the vial. Use appropriate caution when handling sodium bisulfate since it is highly acidic. After adding sodium bisulfate, cap and invert the bottle at least five times or until the sodium bisulfate is dissolved. If you do not add the sodium bisulfate in the field, the sample pH will be too high when we receive it in the lab and you will need to collect a replacement sample. Place the sample into the cooler. Collect sample for the other two dioxane bottles by repeating the previous sample collection steps. Place all of the samples in the cooler and ship back to the lab. Please refer to Eurofins Eaton Analytical's written sampling instructions for specific details.